Hi folks, today I want to share a small hint about a possible surprise camera announcement from Sony. So it's still nothing that is solid as of yet, I still don't have the details, but I wanted to share you at least one aspect that I'm working on and also get over some possible speculation about what this camera might be. But before that, please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button to not miss any of the upcoming rumors. I told you in my previous videos that for now I only have a confirmation about a ZV E10 II launch, the APS-C E-mount vlogger camera coming in April, May. There will be also a new FX camera, some details I will share in my, one of my future videos. And I also got word that the A12 is not coming anytime soon, at best in November 2024, more likely 2025. The same for the A75. So the A75, A12 are more likely to come in 2025 than this year. Other than that, I didn't get information about other cameras like the A7S IV, so we are still left a bit in the dark about what's coming from Sony, particularly from summer and autumn, but I got a detail from a trusted source that gives me some hope. Basically, Sony usually has two kinds of announcements, so they're more um, secret but not too secret announcement like the ZV E10 II and uh, the A7 IV for example was a camera like this so cameras that are made available to testers well before they get announced this means also to influencers and so forth and then there are more secret launches like for example A9 III where only very few people get hands on and so there's little information about the camera and it appears that, according to the trusted source, we have at least two kinds of those very secret announcements happening this year. With very secret, I mean only a restricted group of people has access to this information. And according to the source, Sony has reserved two spots for those two announcements. And usually this means those are major announcements. So something where Sony really introduced something that is very important for them. But other than that information, we don't know for real what's coming. But um, if we speculate now and that speculation, what we can expect, then I'm getting a bit excited because I know the A12 is not coming this year, the A75 also likely not coming this year. We know the ZV10 II is coming now, the FX camera. So this doesn't leave us many other options than, for, cam for example, the E7S IV, which is one of the cameras that could be announced in 2024. But I also think there's room for something that is completely different than currently available Sony cameras. So I mean a camera that is not a successor of a camera that is available right now, but something new. And here the speculation becomes interesting. Um, as you know, over a half, one and a half years ago, I told you that photographers close to Sony were asked about a possible new full frame fixed lens camera, what uh, they would like to get. So Sony, this is an information that is definitely real. So maybe, and that's just my speculation, one of the two major announcements will be for a new full frame fixed lens camera. So a sort of Sony RX1 successor, but maybe completely new, completely different. We can speculate that, for example, it would have a new curved sensor because we know that Sony has patented such sensors. It would allow to have a full frame camera that is super compact, probably as compact as, for example, the Fuji X100V that is APS-C, but the curved sensor allows you to have a lens that has one third of size reduction because the lens doesn't have to correct anymore for aberrations and vignetting on the side of, of the frame, but the whole frame will be uh, perfectly in focus, perfectly sharp, so you don't need to um, have a big lens to get a sharp and to have a fast lens, to get a sharp image and have a fast lens. So that's my speculation. This would be, in my opinion, a killer camera, but we also know from patents that, for example, Sony has patents for a new medium format camera, both interchangeable or fixed lens. Sometimes I found patent even for medium format uh, cameras with curved sensor. I would definitely think that this kind of camera would fit a sort of major big secret announcement um, philosophy. Uh, I do believe, for example, that it would make sense for Sony to 
at first launch a fixed lens medium format camera with curved sensor this would allow to have your very small camera again with a large sensor compact lens and i do believe there's a market for that and yeah they also think they should do an interchangeable system but yeah that's uh something i don't know that if, if sony will ever do but i think there is a market for that because Fuji has proven that people are willing to spend money on something that is different than the usual gear. And so those are the speculations of fixed lens camera, full frame, fixed lens, medium format, maybe even interchangeable medium format. I don't think Sony will think about an APS-C fixed lens camera. That would also be a first for Sony. All I know for now is that Sony has reserved two big spots for a major announcement and those are very secretive, so only a small group of people will see the camera right before the announcement. One of them might be the E7S IV, uh, but the other one might be really a new kind of camera. That's what I'm hoping for, and I give it uh, a good chance that this is going to happen. But that's just my feeling. And anyway, those big spots are reserved for uh, after summer, so summer and autumn. So we don't get, we will not likely not get anything super exciting in spring or till June. We will get the ZV-10 II, the FX camera, um, but nothing else. Also, keep in mind that Sony didn't register a new camera in China as of yet. Usually, they announce it there two, three months before the camera gets announced. It's not a 100% reliable pattern, but as of now, we don't have any new camera registrations. And also, I didn't receive rumors about the E7S IV or fixed lens camera yet. So it means that we are not close to those kind of announcements. If you like my idea of having a fixed lens camera, let me know in the comment system. Or if you have other ideas of cameras that you would like to get from Sony, let me know in the comment system again. And I'm working now and I will work hard in the next weeks with my trusted sources to at least get a grasp of what kind of camera we can expect to get in summer and autumn. But all I can tell you today is those are major announcements. So nothing small, there will be something major and that's good news. And it's a base for me to work on and give you some hope that we can be excited. That Sony might uh, give us something very new and I keep my fingers crossed for the fixed lens full frame camera. It would fit nicely into the success of the Fuji X106 and give a full frame alternative to the Fuji. Yeah, something probably more affordable than a Leica. And I would definitely, I definitely think this would be a huge success. What do you think? First of all, let me know in the Cosmos system whatever you think about this video. Then also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to not miss any of the upcoming rumors, including the wow rumor that I told you I will share most likely next week. And this is confirmed by trusted sources. This is no speculation. So um, this will be exciting. See you soon, folks.